Marcus, how natural do you feel returning kicks back there? Uh, really natural. You know, I've been doing it for, this is my 10th year in the NFL, um, so I've had a lot of experience, so it just comes naturally to me. I feel like, uh, you know, what is, I guess what have the coaches told you about the importance of that, especially for this team that hasn't had that um, the last you know, couple of years? Yeah, all teams try to improve every year. You know, that's what we're trying to do this year um, in every aspect of special teams and offense and defense. How much depth do you feel like you guys have at the DB spot? Because it seems like you guys have just so many different athletes that you can run out there. It's so yeah, it's, it's, an, it's a great group. You know, there's a lot of athletes. There's big, small, fast, quick, um, aggressive. You know, there's, it's a really good group, and uh, it'll be fun. Okay. <laughs> I, I know you probably like answered this coming in, but the Saints' punt returning position has been one that's just been kind of like a one that's musical chairs for the last several years. And they tried all kinds of different guys back there. The vision that they had for you coming in here, like how much was that a part of what they sold you that you can be our full-time punt returner because we, we needed one for a while? Yeah, they told me to come in and I can definitely compete for the job. You know, we got a lot of good returners on this team, so we're all making each other better each and every day. What have you seen from some of the other guys running back there with you? I mean, I know Deontay Harris has been... Uh, taking some reps back there as well. What's popped out to you from some of the other candidates? Yeah, it's a good group. You know, we all work hard. We build off each other. Um, we're here before and after every practice catching, and uh, Deontay's done a great job. Grace and Austin, obviously got Ted back there. All the guys, we've all been good. So. I don't know how much you get to pay attention to guys on the other side of the ball, but a guy like Emmanuel Butler, who's shown a lot of consistency, what impresses you about him um, given, you know, his, his rookie status that he's come out here and really been able to make plays every day? Uh, you know, he's probably got a chip on his shoulder, being an, um, but he's doing a great job. Obviously, he's big, big physical guy, big catch radius, and uh, it's, it's fun watching him play. This is probably an obvious question, but your punt returner doesn't get talked about probably enough, but they can, <laughs> they can create so much momentum throughout a game. Mm -hmm. like just in your experience, like that position throughout football, even though it's not talked about much, how much of a difference maker do you think that can be for a team in a sideline as well? Yeah, it can, be, it can be the difference in a game, you know, momentum, um, hidden yardage coaches always talk about in field position. And the better field position you can give to your offense, you know, the better chance they have to score. So, mm -hmm. Your connection with uh, like Morstead and just knowing a couple guys before you came here, like how much more did, did that make it an easy transition? Uh, Thomas is great, you know, we, we kind of built a friendship over the years. We played each other multiple times, you know, he's one of the best punters in the league, if not the best, and it's fun being on his team now. Everybody, mm -hmm. but how much more so for return because you guys don't really get a whole lot of live action in practice. Right, that's our chance to show what we can do. You know, hopefully we get a lot of chances back there in the preseason and like you said in practice we don't really go live. We'll make a few cuts here and there, but that's really our chance to shine. The, the way that Thomas kicks it, what, what makes it tough to decipher what he's doing and just his pinpoint accuracy? Yeah, he's so consistent, you know. He's ever since I've been in the league, he's always had really high hang times and he's forced a lot of fair catches and directional punting. He might be the best out there, so